Um, so, I just realized a black minivan is actually really rare to see. And it kind of looks cool. I don't know if I got the license plate or not, but I haven't. That's the first black minivan that I've ever seen that I can remember. Huh. Type 1.5 miles. Then turn left on Cornus Boulevard. Anyway, you think we should tell them about our day? Oh, yes. They didn't even start yet. We didn't even get to the hospital. No. This is day six now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because first you weren't feeling good. <laughs> yeah, at first I wasn't feeling good. I felt like I was going to throw up. It's but... raining like a, it was raining like a shit. Yeah, and she was going to go by herself. I was so freaking tired. Luckily, I got an extra 10 minutes or whatever it was in the bed. Um, then... Damn cell phone wouldn't yeah, work. Yeah, I, I went to check the weather to see, you know, if it was still going to plan for thunderstorms and stuff. I turned the cell phone on, and then it says, the sim, something's wrong with the SIM card. It's not, you don't have any. Um, so you can't use the phone to text or call anybody except for emergency services. So I would look on YouTube. So yeah, I look it on YouTube. That the guy, guy was drunk. No, it, it, that's right. That's exactly how the guy put but it in the, at the thing. Yeah, but at Metro, he put it in a different way. No, at Metro, he put it in the same way that i seen on YouTube. And that's but how that's we did But that's how it. I did. Right, but the way we put it in, it was still loose or something. He said that it wasn't in fully. So I guess I should have put some super glue in there. <laughs> But, yeah, we went, we, so we had to go to Metro first because, you know, Metro is the cheapest uh, cell phone place that we found so far, $25 a month. Uh, so we go there, he fixes it really quick, and my mom made, made a comment about how everything seems to happen all at once, and then the guy says, yeah, yeah, it really seems like it because his wife had to get her fallopian tube removed at the hospital, and as soon as they leave the hospital, uh, on the way home, they get hit by a drunk driver on her side, and she goes flying in the car, and she had to be taken on a stretcher back to the hospital. So, it's not just us that have everything happen all at once, but, yeah. Um, and then after that, we're we find out supposed to go no to the money bank. in the freaking account. Because uh, Mickey said to go to the bank, withdraw the money so that we can pay the what it was, two or three bills, as well as get some type of food at Walmart, because we don't have anything except for maybe a couple hot dogs and then sandwiches, which we're almost out of peanut butter and jelly. Of course we are. And water. Uh, because we don't know, it's hard to trust the tap water. Uh, and we go there, he said there should be about $600 in the bank. And we check the balance, and there's negative 32. Okay. And now the pizza place is closed. He, he kept it open for the first two days while he was in the hospital because of the guy that was staying with us for the seven months. Remember, we told rent you for free. it. Rent free. And he was taking pretty much everything from us without ever paying it back, you know, like the paper towels and all that. He never replaced nothing that he used, as well as using our house for storage for all of his stuff. He wouldn't and he was there, he was to, he was the pizza put guy. Two days he quit. He wouldn't help him anymore. He, he didn't want to help anymore, and now the pizza place is closed since then. So, well, I'm yeah, kind of it's, asking for a miracle. I've been I asking need, for a I need for a Mickey while. to be freaking healed. I need our life to be started to be turning around here because I'm so fucking tired. It's just, I'm going and going and going for Mickey. I'm going. I I don't know what else to do. I just don't. It's I, just stress, 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 stress around every corner. Like <laughs> usually, people have a way to escape it. You know, like you go outside, take a walk, or whatever. But there's literally no place in our life that. We can escape to that has no stress there's literally nothing left at all our internet's about to go so you guys might not even see me anymore for a while i don't know because the videos is really the only thing i have left to do <sighs> he's in the hospital i was supposed to drive 
myself so that I can get my own job since I was 19. That never happened. Yeah, but then the cars keep getting taken. Yeah, the car keeps getting taken. There. So I would have been fired multiple different times by now. <sighs> we have no family, no friends, nobody to talk to. Those, those guys that we're talking to right now yeah, are the only it's just you guys. That's it. That we have. Somebody at least has a family member to fucking talk to and say, oh, wow, you know, but yeah, that's shit, whatever. If there's fucking nobody. I have no Be mom. Right my sister's a bitch. What? I have no mom. The sister's a bitch. What the hell are we actually supposed to do, really? I don't know. Can I have my lighter? Yeah, I'm trying to find it. It's in with the cigarettes. Okay, so uh, they clamped the tube, which is basically like taking it out, but you know, so that it stops pushing air in. See if the lung would stay up. It didn't. It started deflating right away. So they had to put it back. They said they're going to leave it in for another day and check again. I don't know why, but basically he's going to need surgery. They got to put two holes inside of him, look for it with a camera, and then fix it and sew it up, and then it'll finally stay inflated as long as they do a good sewing job. Well, they finally looked at that thing on his leg. Yeah, they finally look at the thing on his leg, too, but I don't know if they're coming back. They said they were going to have the person come look at it. They never came, so I have no idea if they forgot they or what. They do want to take that piece off. Yeah. So, so, whatever it is, it's like a moving cyst something, I guess, yeah. instead of... That's all we know. Back home again. It is incredibly foggy. Um... Uh, so yeah, not not too much happened, um, but when we stopped at the gas station to get some water, um, there was a drugged up guy, shirtless guy at the gas station on the outside. When I went in to uh, get the water and stuff, the gas station attendant, the only worker there today, right now, um, she was on the phone with the cops calling because she's the only one there and customers, she, she told them that they were scaring the customers and stuff and he's like out of his mind, he's like laying on the ground going like this and laughing for absolutely no reason out of nowhere and talking to himself or any cars that pull up, I don't know. Hopefully she's going to be okay. Hopefully he doesn't try to go in the gas station, but... <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.